infrared spectroscopy. Infrared radiation is an electromagnetic radiation with wavelengths extends between 700 nanometers and 1 millimeter. It has wavelengths longer than visible light and shorter than microwaves. Infrared is used in many applications. We usually divide infrared region into three main regions. The near infrared that has a higher energy approximately 700 to 1500 nanometers. It can excite overtone harmonic vibrations usually used in many applications such as detecting moisture levels and fat content in meat. The mid-infrared approximately 1500 to 3000 nanometers and it is used to study the fundamental vibrations of compounds. Finally, the far infrared which extends between 3000 nanometers to 1 millimeter. It has low energy that can be used in rotational spectroscopy. The FTIR or Fourier transform infrared spectroscopy technique is used to study compounds in mid-infrared region. In FTIR, polar covalent bonds absorb certain frequencies corresponding to the type of characteristic bonds in the compound. When the dipole moment changes, the bonds within the compound vibrate. The Fourier transform infrared spectroscopy FTIR uses a spectrometer in a simultaneous collecting of high spectral resolution data over the wide spectral range of mid infrared. It can obtain a spectra of absorption or emission for solid, liquid, or gases. There are six vibrational modes. But what do we mean by vibrational modes? We refer to the way the bonds vibrate in a molecule to vibrational modes. There are six vibrational modes, two stretching modes, symmetric and asymmetric, four bending modes, scissoring, rocking, wagging and twisting. The two stretching modes, symmetric stretching and asymmetric stretching modes are radial in direction. For the four bending modes, there are two longitudinal in directions, scissoring and rocking, where scissoring is symmetric and rocking is antisymmetric. The other two bending modes are longitudinal in directions, symmetric wagging and antisymmetric twisting. We mean by symmetric vibration, bonds vibrate together in the same direction, and antisymmetric bonds vibrate in opposite directions. So how can we calculate the number of vibrational modes of a compound? The number of vibrational modes depends on the number of atoms in a molecule. The linear molecule with n number of atoms has 3n-5 degrees of vibrational modes. For example, carbon dioxide CO2 has 3 multiplied by the number of atoms 3 minus 5 which means equal to 4 vibrational modes. The nonlinear molecule with n number of atoms have 3 multiplied the number of atoms n minus 6 degrees of vibrational modes. For example, water H2O has 3 multiplied to the number of atoms which is 3 minus 6 equal to 3 vibrational modes. So how do we use infrared radiation in interpreting the structure of a compound? The FTIR spectrometer gives us either transmission or absorption spectra. The spectrum is plotted where absorption frequencies or transmission is plotted on the x-axis in reciprocal centimeter against the percentage of intensity of the peak on the y-axis. The percentage of the intensity of the peak indicates the amount per unit volume of the functional group associated with the molecular bond. Although IR doesn't give us detailed information about molecular formula or detailed structural information, it can give us information about the functional groups within the molecule. The typical IR absorption range for a covalent bond is between 4000 to 400 reciprocal centimeter. The range from 4000 to 2500 reciprocal centimeter is where single bond stretch bands appear. Triple bonds appear from 2500 to 2000 reciprocal centimeter. Double bond bands appear in the area between 2000 to 1500. 
The region between 1500 to 500 reciprocal centimeter is considered to be the fragment region where skeletal vibration occur, and the region between 1000 to 500 reciprocal centimeter is the fingerprint of compounds. Also, the importance of this region, the overlap of skeletal vibrations, makes it hard to interpret this region. Now let's look at the functional groups and their predicted regions. Remember, those bands can be shifted due to the overlap with other functional groups or according to their position at the terminal or at the site of the compound. Hydroxide stretch band appears as a broad peak between 3400 to 3200 reciprocal centimeter. This happens in absence of hydrogen bond, but in presence of hydrogen bonding, the peak appears very broad between 3600 to 3500 reciprocal centimeter. Free NH stretch appears between 3500 to 3300 reciprocal centimeter, where hydrogen bond NH is between 3350 and 3370 reciprocal centimeter. Alkyne CH peak appears between 33 300 to 3000 reciprocal centimeter. The C bond H stretch of alkenyl and alkyl both appears as sharp small peaks around 2850 to 3100 reciprocal centimeter. The difference between the alkenyl and the alkyl the alkenyl appears at a range higher than 3000 reciprocal centimeter. As for alkenyl, it appears at a range lower than 3000 reciprocal centimeter. For both triple bonds, C triple bond C and C triple bond N stretch, both appear as sharp peaks at the range between 2260 and 2100 reciprocal centimeter. The double bond C double bond N stretch at the range between 2260 to 2215 reciprocal centimeter. Remember, C double bond N stretch peak has intensity about as twice as strong as the C single bond N stretch. And similarly, the C triple bond N stretch peak has intensity higher than the C double bond N and the C single bond N. In the double bond region, C double bond O and C double bond C appear in this region. The C double bond O between 1800 to 1620 reciprocal centimeter and the C double bond C between 1660 and 1585 reciprocal centimeter where conjugate will appear at lower with number than the non-conjugate C double bond C. Finally, the C bond O stretch appears between 1225 and 1020 reciprocal centimeter. Carbonyl C double bond O has a strong polar bond, that is why it is seen as a strong band in the IR spectrum. Medium polar nitrile group and asymmetric bonds are seen as medium peaks. The weak polar and symmetric bonds, such as butyne, have a very weak or non-observable bands in infrared spectroscopy. Now again remember, some peaks get broader and some get sharper, or a shift in the peak position happens due to the hybridization state, or the electron distribution in the molecular bond has changed as a result of the presence of other neighboring groups.